right now. I'll bring you Wayne. But first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? I won't argue. Falcone and Hill got what they deserved. <laughs> Turn about that man. I don't think I believe you. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Blaming other men. Curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is just a tool. I could never do my job if people knew who I really was. Really? Well, I was hoping for something a little more interesting. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... you came... you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man... the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. That man, don't you? Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. 
A true aim. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one.
As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it... It's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Vicky took my secret to the grave. But you couldn't have known that would happen. No. But what's done is done. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Gotham is safer now. I only hope the peace will last. We could all use some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is... Unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. 
What uh, happened to your ear? Oh, it looks painful. Cut myself shaving? What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that... I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did. So we can all move forward. Well, that can't be easy. But I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses, and some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end... A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey.
can't beat me, Bruce. You need me. I'm the villain of your dreams. The shadow within your shadow. <laughs> I need to put you away. Somewhere you'll never breathe free air again. Been there. Done that. I didn't like the view. Justice for what you've done. <laughs> you, you really love that word. Justice. You hide behind it. You think it forgives all your sins. <laughs> Remember that night. Drinking frappes under the stars. You dishing out advice about the ladies. Me finding out you were the bat. It was perfect. <sighs> you know, some part of me always knew. Someone like you? You'd never really be friends with someone like me. We had some good times, didn't we, Bruce? It wasn't all bad. Yeah, sure. Some of it was fun. <laughs> You'll look at that scar and remember those good times.
You can sure take some punishment, Wayne. I'll give you that. Dish it out, too. I'm pulling my people out of Gotham effective immediately. I want you to know, you're square. Your secret is safe with me. After everything you've done, it's only right. I'll seal your case file for good. If my identity ever gets out, believe me, you are the first one I'll come looking for. Oh, I believe you. I've seen you when you're angry, Mr. Wang. I prefer not to have that directed at me. Anything else we need to discuss? Or is this goodbye? And Avesta? Is she going with you? Poor Iman. You really got inside her head, didn't you? I know it was her that destroyed Riddler's blood. She's gonna have to answer for that. I need to be able to trust the people who work for me. You get that, right? Let her come work for me. I'll find her a job at Wayne Enterprises. Is that what she wants? She should at least know it's an option. Okay, then. I'll mention it. She's pretty fond of Gotham. God knows why. And of you. You know, she loves that steak place on Clinton Street. Maybe you should take her some time. Anyone else you're concerned about? What about Jem? Joker hurt him pretty bad. They're saying he might not walk again, at least not without a cane. He saved thousands of lives with that map. Trading you like that? He's clearly been taking lessons from the Agency. I'm inclined to give him a medal. Maybe his old title, too, if he wants it. A tough old dog like him. He's good for a junkyard like Gotham. Jim deserves the highest honor. Like always, he put his duty first. It can't have been easy for him. So, what else? Catwoman. I thought she'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. She's one of your assets now. If you've got a use for her, I don't have a problem with it. Even after everything she did for you? Like I said, I don't have a problem with it. She and I are supposed to be square after she helped take down Joker. But I'm sure Uncle Sam can find some other crime she needs to pay off. I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll be over the moon if I never have to come back to this wasteland. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. We were able to pick up Miss Fox's trail. She's taken to the rooftops. Good. Stay with her until I tell you otherwise. Word is Tiffany Fox cop to Riddler's murder. Personally, I don't give a damn about what happened to that maniac. But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. Lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. My people will let you know where to find her. <clears throat> take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne.
<sighs> Tiffany, we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. I made it. Thinking someday I'd be fighting by your side. Not running from you. I was working up the courage to tell you. Joker? He just... Guessed it somehow. Said he knows another psychopath when he sees one. It was almost a relief to admit it. I'm sorry you found out that way. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder? I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. I had to do something to take back control. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it. But I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together. You need to face justice, Tiffany. I wish I didn't have to, but I'm turning you in. You do that to me? You'll get your day in court. Just like any other criminal. That's what I thought you'd say. But like any other criminal. You'll have to catch me first. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. Come on, Alfred. You know I can't do what I do. What we do without your help well maybe you don't have to do it at all our mission used to be so clear catch the criminals lock them up but nothing is clear anymore at least not to me now everything has become so gray <laughs> gray talk to me alfred 
We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. Well, it worked, didn't it? If you call citywide devastation a success. You led John Doe to believe you were his friend. Turning on him when he killed those agents, that pushed him to become Joker. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. How many whiskeys is that, Alfred? <laughs> Not nearly enough. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. It's a miracle any of us survived that ghastly dinner. But Joker certainly made his point. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost, just like you. Not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. We failed each other, Alfred. My obsession, my relentless effort to stop crime. I should have seen the harm it was causing you. A father takes care of his son, Bruce. Guides him through the world, not the other way around. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. Alfred, wait. Would you stay if I promised things would be different? Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. 
Are you sure about this? I'll do whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please, tell me you'll stay. Well, maybe just one more night. We had so much fun, Joker. I just couldn't stay away. I knew you wouldn't be able to, Bruce. Let's get you ready. it. I really wanted to be a hero, you know? <laughs> but I, I, I just can't. I know you used me. I, I know I should hate you for that. <laughs> but I, I don't. Good time with you, Bruce. Did... did you ever... Did you ever think of me as your friend? Like a, a true friend? <laughs> we were never friends. You're a criminal. You were a means to an end. Yes. I, I was pretty far off the mark there, huh? <laughs> That's all right. I learned from my mistakes. Enemies it is.
I thought you quit. Oh, these? No, these are mine. I think the circumstances allow. Gordon was telling me how you found me. Sounds like top drawer detective work. It was a team effort. Batman led the charge. It's not easy to say this, but it looks like you saved my life. I guess that puts me in your debt. You owe me. And I will collect. Jim, would you mind giving us a minute? Batman and I have some unfinished business. I'll go check on Joker's transfer, make sure they don't take any chances. Just try not to rip each other's heads off, okay? We can all play nice now that the bad guy's in cuffs. Joker's no longer a threat. Catwoman's collar. It comes off. She goes free. Fair. You don't have to worry. Our stalemate from the roof still stands. I'm pulling out of Gotham effective immediately. Then why are we still talking? Tiffany Fox. Riddler's death may have caused a lot of problems, but I won't make her pay for it. I'll leave that to the man who can't stand killing. I know you think I'm the devil, but I want you to understand. I didn't want... I didn't see things going down like this. I let the mission get out from under me. Never really regained a solid footing. Watch out, Waller. Or you might stumble onto an actual apology. You let me talk, we might get there. I just came here to round up the pact. Quick and easy. And if Riddler led you to Sanctus, that would have been a bonus. Listen. Everything I did, I did for the greater good. To protect Gotham, to uphold the law, to make the world a safer place. You did what you thought was right. I won't judge you. Who knows? Maybe our paths will cross again in the future. Maybe we can work together again. On equal footing, of course. I could see us accomplishing great things, Batman. Now that we understand each other. I'll say this, Waller. You know how to get things done. We both do. Let's keep in touch. We're out of here. Signal the withdrawal. I'm not gonna miss her, that's for sure. So, here we are, once again. Gotham safe because of you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty good getting my hands dirty. Just like old times, huh? Truth is, after I got ousted, I didn't know my place anymore. Turned into an old guy in civvies, lurking around crime scenes. We have to work together, Jim. Solve cases. Lock up the scum who terrorize our streets. I'd like that. So would I. Oh, uh, I gotta take this. Wife probably saw the news. <laughs> See you around, Batman. Don't be a stranger.
<sighs> Tiffany, <gasps> we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. You're hurt. It's nothing. I saw you take much worse. Joker was going to cut Waller ear to ear. I had to create a distraction. It was certainly distracting. My confession. It took you by surprise, didn't it? I just couldn't keep it in anymore. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder? I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it. But I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together? If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. You need someone to teach you. you you're giving me a second chance? Think of it more as a sentence. You'll have to work hard for your redemption. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. So what, you're just gonna walk away? I thought you said you weren't a coward. You know this isn't easy for me. Easier than continuing to fight, apparently. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore. At least not to me. Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the Pact. 
We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. I'll admit that wasn't our finest moment, but at the time it seemed like our best course of action. Precisely my point. Our best judgment is no longer good enough. You empowered John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away, inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. How many whiskeys is that, Alfred? <laughs> Not nearly enough. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. We put her in danger on her first day, dodging machine guns at a crime scene. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors. The fainting spells. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you, not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Seriously, Alfred. Does telling yourself stories help you sleep at night? The worse I am, the easier it is to leave. That's not it at all. Then what? Why compare me to my father? Because you'll end up in the same place. Face down in an alley. Shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I'd been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. who I am. I will always be Batman. And that will never change. I know. Rubbish goes out on Tuesday, and there's lasagna in the freezer. I'm sure you'll manage.
can't even hear the voices in my own head. <laughs> I knew you'd never really abandon me. Nothing can keep enemies like us apart. <laughs> <laughs>